not even alive but we are alive hallelujah to glorify and praise God so welcome into service today I want to specially notice that uh, one of our visitors in the house of God today is Elder Paula Waterton good friend and one of my elders from back in Stockbridge in the house. Stand up, Sister Paula. Let them see a Stockbridge elder. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You know, we have a number of announcements that I will go through here today, but first and foremost, let me say that the Amen Free Clinic is on the way. On the way, we are excited, we are delighted. This is going to be an outstanding event. And I will say more about that, but each Sabbath after the service, we have a prayer service for 15 minutes to bathe this thing in prayer, to anoint it in prayer, and to lift it up before God because we know it will be a success, amen? It's going to be a big success. And the other thing I want to say right up before I go, because I don't have it listed here, and that's that on the 13th of April, we will be launching the Win Education Fund right here on that Sabbath. All right? And... Uh, the win is, what again? Worthy investment now. Worthy investment now. This is the next biggest thing that's happening out here at Stockbridge. So on that Sabbath, we're going to spend a lot of at, at Hanson Place. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my God, that was, uh, uh, that was blasphemy. Uh, we, we will have that out here. So, on a, on, on a slightly not so joyful note, tomorrow is going to be the memorial service of Dr. Carl Benjamin, who is, it is scheduled to be here at 3 p.m. on March 24, you know. He was an outstanding conductor of the Handel Messiah at Hanson Place Church. And uh, we want to encourage everyone to come out and make this memorial service a meaningful one. Amen? Again, it's going to be at 3 p.m. International Night. International Social Night when all the countries get together with food and cultural display and all of that is going to happen on April 13. So two big things now happening on April 13. This one though is in the evening at 7.45 p.m. and it will be held at the Hanson Place Elementary School. We're asking all of the country leaders and groups and nations to get together and get yourselves together to outdo the Jamaicans. They are always the ones to outdo because you know they're going to show up in their numbers. So get your people and tell them to show up for international social. All right, all right. Okay, now, uh, another sad note of passing, Pastor James Clark passed away on Tuesday. Uh, former students of Greater New York Academy would definitely uh, remember him very well. And additional information will be shared as it is received. Today is Youth Sabbath. Hanson Place is one of those churches, one of the few churches that have a youth Sabbath every month. And I'm pleased about that. I am pleased about that. Today is youth Sabbath. And our youth will also have a Y at 5 p.m. in the youth sanctuary. Today we also anticipated an outreach of the in the community with the Pathways information 
and flyers, but and the youth would have been spearheading that as their Global Youth Day outreach. But we have to postpone that because of inclement weather. On the pathways, again, additional information that I promised, we have established a budget with line, a line item for contributions and pledges to be able to build up the fund for this exciting outreach. So as you give your tithe, return your tithe and, and give your offering, remember this line item for the Pathways Amen Free Clinic. It's a huge budget we have about a, a, more than $100,000. So we do need pledges and we do, do need donations so that we can build up the budget. All right? I think the budget line item is about $50,000. So we want you to know that. Bear it in mind so as we pray, we can also see the fund grow. Communion service is next week, Sabbath. And right after Divine Hour, we'll have our deacons and our elders and people who participate in the communion service remain for rehearsal right after the 15 minutes of prayer that we do after service. We also have at sunset a business meeting this evening to end the quarter. The business meeting is important, and we ask all of you to show up to be acquainted with the business of the church. All of you are required to be there. All right, please show up for your church, and let's do this. Following the business meeting, we will have a half-night prayer meeting. Now, if you're like me, I live for the half nights and the all night prayer meetings. So I'm looking forward to seeing you come back. Uh, well, stay up, stay on, and stay up with us for as we pray and we tarry and we intercede with the Lord. We continue to bless God for Shirley Thomas, J. Ann, Belkham, Bob, and Kitoi Wariboko who celebrate birthdays this month. We want to, if you're online, we want you to know we are celebrating with you. And if you're in the congregation, just so. So much so that we sing to you, happy birthday to you as the praise team comes. And we join together. We thank God for being born and for these, our members, that are celebrating birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear celebrants. Just join us in standing quickly as we sing our introit. The words of the song say, Holy Spirit, come and fill this place. So God, we ask even right now that your spirit just fill the room, fill the sanctuary. And God, have your way this morning. Is that anybody's prayer this morning? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's sing it together. Sing, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come and fill this place. Bring us healing. Bring us healing with your warm embrace. Show your power. Show your power. Make yes, your presence Holy known. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come fill this place. This place. Breath of God, we need a touch from you. Breath of God, we need a touch from you. So shine down on us with. Shine down on us with the light, with the of, light truth. of truth. Stir our hearts. Stir our hearts. Set, Set your spirit, spirit free. free. Holy Spirit, Holy come. 
Father, we thank you for allowing us to be here today. I'm praying that your blessing will be upon all the proceedings today. Bless the speakers, bless the presenters, and may we leave a little better than when we came in. For Christ's name we pray, amen. Amen. You may be seated. Happy Sabbath, church. Happy Sabbath. Okay, I hear y'all. Happy Sabbath, church. Happy Sabbath. All right, so this whole week when I got the call that I was doing the welcome, I was asking God, what did you guys need to hear? And I promise you, every day, I was like, God, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Nothing. Until this morning, as I was getting ready, I heard sound. And I'm like, what about sound? And then I started thinking, what is sound? The car make a sound. You hear, when, when you hear the car, it makes a sound. When you hear a truck, it makes a sound. When um, there are thunders, it makes a sound. And God was like, what is your sound of worship? And I'm like, ooh, <laughs> I don't know. What is my sound? And then I started thinking about how my week went. My week was stressful. I can't go into details, but it was so stressful. Had a lot of trips to the court, had a, a lot of incidents. It was stressful. And I was like, I'm not happy, God. And God was like, well, turn your sound into praise and worship. Because when you praise, God will confuse your enemies. 
when you praise, God enters in the room and does what he needs to do. When you praise and when you worship, when you release that sound within you, whatever it is, whether it's sadness, whether it's depression, whether it's defeat, whatever is it within you, when you release it, God moves. All you have to, whatever is within you, you have to release it into the atmosphere for God to do something about it. So right now, even if you say hallelujah, however your hallelujah sound, God will intervene in your life the way he needs to intervene. So just for now, just as a practice for the rest of worship, let's all say hallelujah the way you feel like saying hallelujah so God can intervene. So one, two, three, hallelujah. 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 And now just pay attention to God because he also has a sound. When he comes, it either comes with uh, as thunders, as a wind, or as a peaceful sound. Just prepare your heart to receive the sound that God has for you, the word that he has for you. So is there any visitors in the house today? Any visitors? I, don't, I see faces I don't recognize. Amen. Somebody's pointing out. Nobody else? Okay, please stay standing. So my, my word for you is don't pay attention to what's around you. Pay attention to what's in your heart. Release it to God. And whatever you need, God will intervene for you. At this time, let us all stand up and welcome our visitors, welcome our brothers and sisters, and let's be happy and let's sing. Smile, everybody, smile. <laughs> Amen.
morning we come to declare that God is able there is nothing impossible for our God there is nothing too hard for him to do so this morning father we put our trust in you and we say you are able Amen. thank you Lord thank you for being the able God with us. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, say God is able. God is able to do just, 
just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise. Every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Because he won't. Say he's able. He's able. Yes. Hallelujah. You are able, Jesus. Say he's able. He's able. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Say God is able. God is able to do. Just what he said. Just what he said. He would do. He would do. Every promise promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up. He's able. He's able. Oh, 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 oh. he's able. Can you help me say? Nothing that's impossible. So we trust you, Jesus. Yeah. He's able. Yeah, so we say, He's able. 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 He's able to heal the sick and to raise the dead. My God is. He's able. So we trust you, Jesus. For your more than able. So we trust you, Jesus. So we trust you, Jesus. Say yeah. 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 He's able. Say yeah. Yes, to your will. Yeah. Yes, to your way. Yeah. He is able. He is able. Say yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, I trust you. Yeah. Yes, I believe. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Say he is able. He is able. He is able. He is able. He's 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 able. Say yes. Yeah. He's able. He's able. Yeah. Yeah. He's able. He's able. Whatever you believe. Yeah. I want you to know. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Yeah. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't. Say don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up. Don't give up on you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up. One more time. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't give up on you. You are more than able. You are more than able. You are more than able. Yeah, you are more than able. Can we lift that up? 
this morning. Sing, you are more than able. You are more than able. Sing, you are more than able. You are more than able. You are more than able. What the Lord can do, what the Lord can do, it's going to happen. Just let the way you make it through, he's going to move, he's going to move. Can you imagine, with all of the faith, what the Lord can do, what the Lord can do, it's going to happen. Just let the way, he's going to move. With all of the faith, what the Lord can do, what the Lord can do, it's going to happen. Just let the way make it through. He's going to move. He's going to move. Anything, anything is possible. Anything, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Who am I to deny? Who am I to deny what the Lord? Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Who am I to deny what the Lord? One more time. Anything is possible. 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 Who am I to deny what the Lord? Who am I? Who am I to deny what the Lord? Who am I to deny what the Lord? Who am I to deny what the Lord? Who am I to deny the Lord? What the Lord can do, you are more than able. You are more than able. You are more than able. Tonight, tonight, what the Lord can do, you are more than able. to worship our king he is more than able he's able to do it exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or imagine thank you jesus you're worthy we need you lord
is and worship at your throne. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, right now. Yeah. Sabbath Church. This week we are going to play, pray for the Ugasan family. They're not here, but please keep them in your hearts and pray for them throughout the week. Um, now it's time to pray. Please kneel. Dear Heavenly Father, you are our Messiah, our God, our Alpha and Omega. We will praise and worship you forever. We thank, we are thankful for waking us up this morning, giving us another day, even though we didn't deserve it, you showed mercy and we thank you. Um, we are grieving, Lord, this whole world, the killings, the wars, please, please deliver us from all of the earth's sin. Um, please help our sick. Please be with all the people in our nursing homes, all of our members. Please keep them well. Please help us to visit them more because they need that love. They need the church's love. Please be with the families that are going through all this pain through the world. There's killings of the children of the other, other families. Please be with all of them, Lord. Please be with this church Please keep all of us safe. Thank you for our visitors for coming. Please keep them to come and come. Please be with everyone here. Please be with me, Lord. Please be with the pastor as he's going to preach. Please speak through him. Please help him to speak all the proper words so that everybody leaves here touched. Um, please be with everybody I forgot. You know everybody's troubles, Lord, but please help them to feel safe. Please send angels around the people that need it. Please protect them and help them to know that you love them always. This is our prayer. Just and I pray, amen. Say we need you. church. I am blessed to be able to just minister hopefully a song that will touch your hearts because I think about how especially just after that prayer there's so many people in need even right here in this church um, and it's easy to forget that there's still a God that's watching out for every single one of us that cares about us that will provide so I hope that this song touches your hearts. Why do I worry about my life 
when you've come to my rescue a thousand times and every other voice it is a lie God provides God provides in ways I can't explain and can't deny the little that I have he multiplies just when I think he won't show up on time God provides he'll come through when the clouds of doubt rain down on you and test everything you thought you knew that's when you see that God will come through for you so tonight close your eyes there's no more need to fight watch God provide God provides it's hard to say when there's no food to eat and when it seems that life will be not so sweet and is my life meant for misery Good afternoon, church. Now we're going to have a children's story. As the kids come down, we want all the adult, adults sitting in the pews to give each kid you see a dollar. This dollar will be going towards education and furthering these kids' knowledge. So as you see the kids coming down to hear their story, find a dollar in your pocket, find a dollar in your wallet, and give it to the kids. Amen? Amen? All right, thank you.
And then uh, whoever's upstairs, can we also connect, collect some dollars? Let's remember these, this money is going towards our children's education. Amen. Before we start anything, can I get a word of prayer? Anybody wants to pray for us today? Raquel. Dear Jesus, thank you that you give us the strength to come here to church. And thank you for all the things that you've been doing for us. And thank you for all the things that you've been doing for us and thank you for everything else that you've been doing for us. Thank you that you made this beautiful world to put us in it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The title of our story today is called Grandma Knows Best. There was once a little boy named Johnny. Now, a lot of you might know Johnny from a very specific little song that you might have heard. Anybody want to guess what that song is? Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Finish it. Finish it. Go. Just. Um, eating sugar, no, Papa. Y'all know this song? Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Eating sugar, no, Papa. Telling lies. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Well, this is a story about a lying little boy and what happened to Johnny when he went to his grandma's house. Well, little Johnny went on vacation to his grandma's house. He loves her a lot, and he saw grandma and grandpa there. They love to bake him cookies. Now, they had one rule, no eating cookies past 7 p.m. Now, little Johnny, did I tell you little Johnny loves their cookies very much? And one specific night, he saw the cookies there, and he was like, wow, I just love cookies. So he went, he checked the time, it was 7.01, he's like, but I love cookies. And he heard that little voice telling him, don't do it. But I love cookies, you know? So he went, put his hand in the jar, and took half a cookie. The next day, it was 7.02 p.m., the same thing happened. But I love cookies, he said to himself. Went in a jar, but this time he took one full cookie. Slowly this became a habit for him. And grandma and grandpa started to notice that some of the cookies were missing. So when they asked little Johnny what happened, he said he saw a mouse go into the bin and take the cookies. I don't know if he thought grandma and grandpa believed him, but he kept on going and taking more cookies and more cookies. One day, grandma and grandpa got a little tired of their cookies going missing. So they put a little treat in the cookies. Now, Johnny didn't know what they had put in the cookies. So another night he went, it was now 8 p.m. He took three whole cookies to bring upstairs to eat. Now, the next morning, Grandma and Grandpa asked him again, what happened to the three cookies in the thing? Again, he said, oh, the mouse came, and the mouse ate him, and I tried to stop the mouse. I'm like, little mouse, come here. You can't eat the cookies. And he ate a whole paragraph on how the little mouse stole the cookies. So now Grandma and Grandpa were like, Oh, we feel so bad for the little mouse who took the cookies because we put a little something in the cookies that is going to make you have a bad week. Little Johnny started to become a little fearful because he knew the mouse didn't eat the cookies. He did. And Grandma and Grandpa told him since he's not the one who took the cookies, he would have been just fine. And, he, and they asked him to help them pray for that little mouse who took those three cookies. 
because he was going to be having a bad week. Now, this time, little Johnny knew not to take the cookies at 8 p.m., but it was a little too late for that. His belly started to rumble a little and rumble a little more. And when he went to go to sleep, his belly said, no, I want to go to the bathroom. I have different plans. So now Johnny was like, oh, no, I'm done. So he went to grandma and grandpa and asked for the antidote for the mouse. Now, grandma and grandpa were very suspicious. And, they, and little Johnny eventually ended up telling them what had happened. He was the one who kept on taking the cookies. And he asked grandpa and grandpa not to punish him and to forgive him. They said, oh no, little Johnny, you've already been punished. You're gonna be on the toilet for a couple days. <laughs> now, what lesson can we learn from all this? What lesson can we learn from what happened to little Johnny? Not to steal. Amen, anybody else? Not to tell lies. Amen. And the most important lesson is that grandma knows. Now, instead of grandma in this context, we want to apply this to our everyday lives. Who could grandma be in our lives? God. Amen. We do not want to lie or steal to, from God. Because at the end of the day, God knows everything we do, everything that happens to us, future, present, and past. So everything we do, we must be honest about to him, and he will bountifully bless us. But if we aren't honest, like little Johnny, you know what happens. Amen. Can we get a word of prayer before we leave? Nobody wants to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for having us to bless you. And Jesus, I pray, amen. Amen. Everybody, you got your trees over here. If you didn't put your money in the bin, put your money in the bin. In the church. Amen, kids. Have a blessed Sabbath. Happy Sabbath again, church. I just want to take a moment to share what the scripture says about giving. See that you excel in this grace of giving. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich. If the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, not according to what he does not have. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Now he who supplies seed to the sower, the bread for food, will also supply and increase your store of seed, and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness." You will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. This service will, 
This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of God's people, but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. Because of the service by which you have proved yourselves, men will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and with everyone else. And in their prayers for you, their hearts will go out to you because of the suppressing grace, sorry, because of the surpassing grace God has given you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Deacons, please stand. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being the source of all blessings. As we present our offerings and tithes, we remember your promise to open the floodgates of heaven when we honor you first. We ask that you accept these gifts and use them to your glory. May these gifts bring shelter to the homeless, comfort to the sick, rest to the weary, and hope to the hopeless. This I do pray, amen. Say, oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For he is yes, good. He is yes, good. he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto, unto the Lord. For he is good. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto, unto the Lord. For he is good. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give to the Lord, for he is good, yes he is good, yes, he for is he is good. Is good. church and this next song that I wanted to deliver and just hopefully bless your hearts with was actually my favorite hymn growing up as a kid and even now 20 plus years later it is still a hymn that speaks to my heart so I hope it will bless yours Be thou my 
vision, O oh Lord of my heart, not be all else to me, say that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night, waking or sleeping, thy prayer my life Riches I heed not No man's empty praise Thou my inheritance Now and always Church, say amen. Wonderful musical intonation to worship. I can feel the Spirit of God in this place. I invite you to stand with me for the reading of the scripture today. It's taken from Luke chapter 23 and verse 34. Luke 23 and verse 34. The word says, then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They divided his garments and were casting lots. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Under the anointing of the Spirit today, I intend to preach a sermon in the sequel of the last two frustrated angels and why God forgives sin today, the problem of forgiveness, the problem of forgiveness. Father, we need more of you to make us better than we are. I pray, Lord, that you would take control and command of this sermonic moment. I pray, Father, that your words will come alive in our hearts. And while you bless the congregation waiting, do not pass me by, for I am merely a carrier of the message. I need, Lord, the seasoning of it in my own experience. 
to resolve, as you did, the problem of forgiveness. We thank you, God, that you've heard this prayer, and we wait on you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. The words spoken in the scripture passage are spoken by Jesus from the cross. And how much pain do you have to be in to be